Here are the top local stories you need to know as you start your day. Your Thursday morning rush starts right now. A 14 year old Richland Northeast High School student is charged with bringing a weapon on school property. Richland County deputies say around 2 o'clock yesterday, school resource officers were made aware of a video showing a student with a gun inside a school bathroom. SROs and school administrators immediately approached the student who handed over a pocket knife. The teen later admitted to bringing a BB gun to the school and says it was inside another student's bag. The gun was later found and the student was charged. Happening today, the South Carolina Association of Realtors and state lawmakers will hold a press conference to discuss a new short term rental initiative. The association says short term rentals make a $4.2 billion economic impact annually in South Carolina, creating jobs and driving tourism in communities across the state. Today's event will take place at the State House beginning at 9 o'clock this morning. And former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley kicked off her presidential campaign yesterday. Speaking to supporters in Charleston, Haley said it is time for a generational change in politics. However, she did not mention former President Donald Trump, who is currently the only other GOP candidate to announce his presidency campaign. Haley has other campaign stops planned for early voting states, including Iowa and New Hampshire. And there's your morning rush. For more details on these stories, just head to our website. That's WLTX.com. You can also find all of this information on the News 19 app.